Hello, my name is Steve Bowler and welcome to the Juniper Tunneling Lab number one. In this lab we're going to take a detailed look at how to configure, set up, and verify generic routing encapsulation, otherwise known as GRE. So what I'm going to do first is explain our current network diagram. In this lab we have three routers, router 1, 2, and 3. We are using logical systems and connecting our logical systems together via logical tunnels. If you're not familiar with that process, you can check out my videos on how to do that on Juniper Series 1. Those videos are logical system lab number 1 and 2. Just to give you an overview, all of our logical tunnel interfaces equal LT120.xx. For instance, router 1 connection to router 2 is going to be LT-120.12. And so we have the network between router 1 and router 2 is the 12 network. The network between R2 and R3 is the 23 network. Router 1 has a loopback 0.1 interface that we're going to configure and we're going to ha assign that the one network. Same with router three, it's gonna have a loop at 0 0.3 and we're gonna assign router three the three network. And what we're gonna do is we are going to, along with setting up our loopbacks on R1 and R3, we're gonna set up the GRE tunnel between R1 and R3 and show you and explain why you'd wanna do that. And then also in the process, we're gonna set up a routing protocol between R1 and R3 in which R1 will not be able to see what we are doing and sending those routes via our routing protocol. So again one of the main reasons you want to use a tunnel is you want to not include certain routers to see routes that you're passing via your tunnel. In this case R1 and R3 are going to share their loopbacks without having router 2 know of the routes or the routing protocol that we're running between those two routers. So we don't want the, in this case, we'll just say R2 is the service provider and R1 and R3 are the edge routers. We don't want our service provider to have any knowledge of, of our backend networks that we're utilizing and we don't want to share those routes. I'm not saying that you're going to do this every time, but for some instances, you don't want to share routing information with your service provider. And one of the ways to provide reachability across your enterprise or your network is to create GRE tunnels. So that's what we're going to do in this video. Again, router one is going to be the dot one IP addresses. Router two is going to have dot twos. Router three is going to be the dot threes. So a pretty simple network diagram. You don't want to get too complicated with your IP addressing. That's why in most of my videos I make it pretty simple to follow with the connections.